So I just finished chapter 10 of The Mandalorian. I want to throw that out there. There's not really much to spoil. They spend the entire episode on an ice planet. The coolest thing was seeing the X-Wings in action. That was pretty cool. And to hear them talking about, you know, patrolling an area and the New Republic and stuff like that. But I'm always quickly reminded to how everything ends with the crappy Disney trilogy. Either way, though, I do like... I do like the show. I liked the episode. I wish we could have got a little bit more plot, but, you know, it is what it is. It's way better than what we've got in a long time. So, anyway, let's get into some news that I just saw. That's this article from Deadline. There's some concerning stuff in here to me I want to go over. And then I want to talk about some of the spinoffs. One, I'm sure, that will cause quite a meltdown. Two, in fact... But you can see from the headline here, The Mandalorian Ice Season 3 production start as spinoff casting and Boba Fett buzz heats up. So if you don't know, spoiler alert, Boba Fett shows up at the end of the uh, Chapter 9 episode. Uh, If you didn't know that, I don't know how you avoided the spoilers considering everybody's putting them in their effing thumbnail. So I don't think that I'm really spoiling anything for anybody here. It's everywhere. So, yeah, uh, the original actor, forget his name, who played Jango Fett, who, of course, is what Boba Fett is going to look like because he's a duplicate, uh, is still around, and he's the perfect age to play the character in something. I really wonder how that'll work out if you can really make the character redeeming. I guess we'll see. Uh, I I would like to see that show if it happens. They're talking about it being a miniseries. But there was something in here that I I thought was kind of concerning, Okay, and it reminded me a lot of the amazing Spider-Man 2, not to be not to be confused with the good one, which was the Tobey Maguire one with Doc Ock. No, I'm talking about the one with Electro that was a completely corporate movie and was trying to set up a Spider-Man universe with Sony. The problem with Spider-Man 2, the amazing Spider-Man 2 is that like the whole movie was all about setting up different movies. They were trying to put all of this stuff in there. They wanted to do a Sinister Six movie, and I think they wanted to do like a Black Cat movie and all of this stuff. They wanted to use that movie to build up a whole universe, which, of course, ended up being a terrible idea because it ended up making the movie so bad that it never got a sequel. It never got a sequel. So now... I'm reading something from Deadline here, and I'm thinking, well, this reminds me a lot of Spider-Man 2. So listen to this. Okay. In February, then-Disney CEO Bob Iger hinted at the company's plans to expand the Mandalorian franchise with spinoff series, teasing the possibility of infusing the Mothership series with more characters and then taking those characters in their own direction in terms of series. There is speculation that such series is in the work, which is unclear what Mandalorian characters would be spun off and whether Boba Fett is one of them. I would say for sure Boba Fett would be one of them unless they kill him in the series. My guess would be that he shows up and helps the Mandalorian. Mandalorian gives him the armor and he takes off in some very uncharacteristic fashion because that's not what he's supposed to do because Boba Fett is not a Mandalorian. So the problem here is like there's already some episodes that are very slow. Like, so the one I just watched, right? They spend the whole time on an ice planet. The plot didn't move forward at all. Okay. So now you're going to take the core series and you're just going to bring in characters to possibly give them a spinoff series. I just don't know if that will work very well. And like I said, it reminds me a lot of the amazing Spider-Man Two. all of that movie. The only reason that movie existed in a lot of ways was so that they could inject New movies into it. New movie ideas. Okay, it was, it was a movie designed to make more movies. And I really wonder if that's what's going to happen with The Mandalorian. I think that would be a huge mistake. You really have something good here. Now, you already have characters you could spin off. This is the one that, well, besides Boba Fett, though The Mandalorian is a repurposed Boba Fett show, I, I think that that's pretty clear. But this one is going to for sure cause a meltdown which we already know about. A recent report pointed to a potential offshoot featuring Cara Dune, a.k.a. Gina Carano, okay, and Bogotan Kriz. I don't know if I'm saying that last name right, but whatever. Um, and then, of course, the Rosario Dawson show with Ahsoka. You know that show's going to happen if that rumor is true and she shows up in this season. 
That's for sure going to happen. Now, imagine the meltdown from that. I don't have those tweets pulled up, but I do have Data Racer 117's old tweets where she was doing the whole beep, bop, boop thing, which was just a joke. And you could see the meltdown every time she posts stuff. Look what the nasty stuff they say to her, right? And I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you right now, if they give her show, <laughs> the meltdown is going to be glorious. They, you can't show these enough. And these are supposed to be uh, tolerant and loving people here. Okay, these are supposed to be tolerant and loving people. And look at the nasty things they say. It's going to happen when she shows up in this season as well. The moment her character shows up, the moment she shows up, <laughs> you're going to have another meltdown. That show gets announced, you're going to have another meltdown. It's it's going to be great to watch. I always get a real kick out of it, but it is it is pretty disgusting, the stuff they say about her. Uh, they say such nasty stuff, and it's like, well, it's, it's, it's okay to say this, but... I, I like Drina Carano. I think she's great. I think I like how she interacts with fans and uh, she doesn't put up with any BS. I, I hope she gets a show, to be honest. I think it'd be a good show. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, then, of course, I, I want to show you guys this. He hasn't, he hasn't uh, put these out yet, but he sent them to me last week. Look at some of the stuff that they were saying about the Sand people, the, you know, the Tuscan Raiders that are in, uh, that live on Tatooine. Uh, they were they were saying sand people is equivalent to the N word for a sci fi television show. Okay, that's stupid. There's no there's no connection to that at all. But you can't do anything <laughs> without these people getting insane. So that's a little bit of the meltdown there. Thank you, Data Racer One One Seven, for sending me those. But anyway, broke ass Disney who's losing money left and right. Okay, they see something good here. The Mandalorian's doing well. People love it. What is their what is their solution? Well, let's use it now in an amazing Spider-Man 2 scenario and let's harvest the hell out of it. Killing a good thing in my opinion. And and you'll end up just making everyone hate the Mandalorian. Well, not hate it, but you'll end up you'll end up destroying what you had. And I think that that's a bad move. I think that you should just, if you can find a way to introduce a character into it and make it work and kind of grow that character off, which I think Cara Dune is a good example of that. They introduced her a couple of times. She was interesting enough maybe to give a show. But when you're just, all right, we're going to plan the show. What's going to happen is they're going to take a character and say, okay, we can do this show with it. Let's introduce the character this way. Then you're compromising the Mandalorian just so that you can pop off more shows. It's it's going to end up hurting the Mandalorian. That's just my opinion, but this this rarely works. And it almost killed the Spider-Man franchise. Anyway, maybe you agree, maybe you don't agree. Let me know. Tell me in the comments if I'm right or wrong. Tell me what you think. Also, throw a like up. Share the video, please. Also, make sure you're still subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.